Tip number 327 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. Leadership safety. If you're not going to be doing it um, safely, then I doubt if your employees are going to be uh, concerned about it. And this is something that, you know, when I was, uh, when I went from working on the tracks to being a contractor, working out on my own, I was quite young. And I got my contractor's license when I was 25. And I think I, my first job I did, I was 25. You know, I was hitting the pavement. I was ready to go. And um, I worked by myself a lot. And I did a lot of things that I, you know, you wouldn't want to show other people how to do. You know, it's like, okay, um, you know, this wouldn't be the best uh, leadership example here. And then when I started hiring employees... I realized that there were I was still doing these things. These bad habits that I had created over the years were still with me. So if you have employees, you are a contractor who's working out in the field. You have your foremans or you have foremans working out in the field, superintendents, whatever, project managers, and these people aren't concerned with safety or doing things safe you know, then um, I don't know how you would expect your employees to. And this kind of filters down to something, you know, um, as people, we see things, it's monkey see, monkey do, you know. Um, I was just watching something, uh, an old movie, some previews, and the guy grabs the girl, she didn't want to be kissed, and he kisses her, and she she backs away, and he's like, you know, there, I did it. Like, and it's like, well, oh, wait a minute, totally unacceptable today. You wouldn't see something like that in a movie, you know, or a good chance you're not going to. But I would imagine the people back in those days, this is something they thought. They watched the movie. They thought this is what the, the opposite sex wanted. And then they reacted accordingly. And it's not. Maybe this isn't at all. Maybe some of them do, some of them don't. Same thing with safety. You know, if you're the leader, people look up to you. You're the foreman, you're the cool dude, or you're, whoever, you know, you're like the Marlboro man or woman, you know. You're the person that everybody wants to, um, you know, be like when they become a, the head foreman or something like that. This is a responsibility. It's, it's up to you. You, you need to... Um, Lead by example, not just go out there and keep doing these things that you've been doing over the years and getting away with it. But a lot of people probably aren't going to be able to. So just keep that in mind when you are um, dealing with project managers, foremen, leaders in leadership positions. If they're not going to be safe, the people who are working with them or for them, um, might uh, not uh, feel like it would be a need, you know, they'll just kind of, you know, cowboy their way through it kind of a thing.